morning friends uh, today we are not uh, tasting mangoes although it's mango season we wanted to try something different because there are so many different fruits uh, that grow here in Florida backyard that it's not just the mangoes there's so much variety we have um, bananas ripening right now a lot of papayas are also ripening guavas are getting ready but today this is the strange looking fruit that we have and uh, it's kind of surprising because a couple days ago we gave our neighbor a big long papaya that we grow in our garden and she was very happy to take it but she asked me and uh, rather shyly how do you eat it and there's something like papaya it's so easy to grow from seed and within a year you will have fruits and uh, you never ate a papaya so <laughs> I was rather surprised because many people live all their life here in a perfect weather down here in Miami and there are so many fruit trees can be grown and they are not really huge not all of them papayas can be grown if you have just three feet by three feet uh, guavas that you can see just in front of me up here it's just taking probably uh, three feet wide and probably like six feet tall distance and it's loaded with fruits right now so it's not really difficult to grow your own fruits and um, she really liked it of course it was very very sweet fruit um, same is with jackfruit it can be grown in your backyard here in florida jackfruit tend to be huge trees but newer varieties that are grafted that have been bred for their superior qualities do can be kept short uh, and dwarf like 8 to 10 feet tall and uh, wide and you can get fruits from them and good quality fruits from them so jackfruit it's a huge fruit this certain variety that I have we got it from a friend uh, in southwest ranches from the who is from the tropical fruit forum and um, this weighed 25 pounds and it's a variety called j31 it's um, it comes from malaysia uh, many of the varieties that we know right now that are superior varieties they come all from different countries some from borneo some from malaysia some from thailand so these superior varieties and some people have started to grow seedlings some from Australia like amber jackfruit so people have started to grow seedlings from the jackfruit and seedlings do come 90 95 percent of the time they do come true to the parent so if you like a jackfruit that you ate and you um, put this sprout the seeds and grow it's perfect it will grow almost uh, identical to the parent fruit so don't worry about that it's just that the seedlings usually take a little longer three to five years to fruit and they grow a little vigorously so they tend to grow upright pretty fast and when they bear fruit they usually bear on the branches rather than on the lower and the trunk and the grafted ones usually start to bear fruit lower at the base of the trunk that's how you know whether it's a seedling or a grafted one so let's just start with this it's also called alligator fruit from what it looks like the skin of the alligator it's a lot of ridges here and um, I can understand if you have never eaten it or never seen it it does look weird and it's really heavy we weighed it, this on the scale it was 25.8 uh, pounds so it's really really heavy um, and um, so how do we eat it so the one thing about jackfruit is that uh, older varieties they tend to have a lot of latex and even the newer superior varieties they do have some latex so always put some um, oil handy just in case you your hands get latex the one that we ate previously was uh, a seedling fruit that was our friend obtained from Fairchild fruit festival probably like 10 12 years ago and that was a very very good um, fruit um, and we tried that fruit very tasty it had a flavor of uh, lemon with sweetness tropical 
sweetness flavor with crunchiness no latex at all I, I could actually take with my hand but not all jackfruits are like that so let's see what this one looks like so I I usually try to cut the top off and see if it has good amount of latex that way I will know whether I need to put yeah it does have some la latex as I can already feel when I cut that I can see there is some latex here when I cut so probably we will need to use the you can see latex here another thing I forgot to tell how to know if it is ripe so it's hanging on the tree how to know if it is ripe so its color starts to change a little bit from uh, green to a little like dark brown and if you press it see when I'm pressing it it's giving and the third and most important thing is it starts to smell the whole if you take it inside let's say you cut it and you take it inside and if it's not ripe you thought that okay it's 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 slightly color change it's giving a little bit should I cut it or not just keep it in the room um, higher temperature or in your garage or in the room even inside in one or two days you'll see when you come from outside inside the house the whole house is full of this aroma of jackfruit it's, it's a fruity uh, smell it's hard to describe but you will know once you smell it so um, this is supposed to be ripe but this does have some degree of uh, latex so this specific variety J31 tends to have some latex it looks like even when it is fully ripe sometimes if they are not ripe they will have latex anyways but this one it's, it seems like it's fully ripe it has some degree of latex so what we will do now is we will use some oil sometimes you will have to do any oil will do I don't know if this has a this is an olive oil that I have and you want to put it here along the knife as well so that it doesn't get some people also wear gloves and do doesn't have to be it depends on what variety that specific variety that we had last time um, that had no latex I was practically taking that out I will you will be seeing it in the video the other one that um, it was different so after you do this now all this all the fruits are with the seeds uh, which also has a lot of latex usually in the one in the varieties that have good amount of latex you want to take just the outside part out this the skin out and then open it up and then you will have all the seeds and the fruits there so let's try that way so I'm going vertically here Or you could cut the whole thing into half that way you what you can do is you can cut it the whole thing from the middle and then open it up so this is what it looks like and if you ask me what's the part that you are supposed to eat this is not the part this is the part so these are this is the fruit that is connected to the middle portion here so you take it out like this there is a seed inside so don't start chewing right away so there is a good seed you take the seed out like this this is all the edible part this one is very juicy and soft as well it's not as crunchy as the one that we had before it's more juicy some are crunchy and some have sub acid but this is just sweet juicy non crunchy no latex in the fruit itself it's just on the around is sweet as sweet as a sweet mango but nowhere compared to the flavor there it is more like a banana and vanilla mix this one doesn't have any sub acid flavor some do have sub acid flavor like lemon flavor uh, this one is just sweet with banana and vanilla 
combined kind of um, sweetness and it has good amount of juiciness so it does it's not a dry fruit let's try another one other seed the seed has a coating like it's like a plastic kind of coating um, if you let it dry a little bit this plastic starts to crack up you can remove it then soak it in some paper towel and in one or two days it will start to germinate and you can then put it in some soil or some mix of perlite uh, vermiculite and, and uh, soil and it will it will grow very fast jackfruits grow very fast Around. so once you cut like this it's very easy you can easily start taking this you can cut along here so that way this whole portion can come out and then you can easily yes it looks like a little messy yes of course it looks a bit messy but the joy of eating a tropical flavor fruit right out of hand from your backyard grown in your own backyard with no chemicals no fertilizers um, pesticides fertilizer you can eat uh, you know, organic ones mind it jackfruit is a heavy feeder so you have to constantly feed it with a lot of compost and uh, mulch if you have chicken or bunny the bunny poop or chicken poop is also very very good uh, you can also use the cuttings from banana so once the fruit the whole banana can be the, the stump can be chop, chopped and uh, put around fruit trees like jackfruit they would love it a lot it's a very very good fruit and it is a good meal like one of these can fill you up half of these I would say fill you up for the day sit down have fun and eat this in some cultures um, jackfruit is also eaten when it is not fully ripe but cooked so they do meet make a good jackfruit teriyaki or jackfruit uh, curry um, it can also be used in if you have a burger mix well if you want to eat jackfruit another way like cooked way like in Indians and in some cultures Southeast Asian cultures we do eat jackfruit that's that's already a good size but it's not ripe yet so they did the way they do it is these fibers here all these fibers here they're too sweet right now to make it into a curry and this whole uh, outer cell and the fibers they can be used to make curry seed also tastes like chestnuts seeds can be roasted in oven as well and it's a good meal it's a it's this is um, like a uh, very very healthy snack and very nutritious and and if you what if you don't want to eat right away out of hand so what you can do is you bring a small container what you can do is you can remove the seeds you can collect it here like this and you can refrigerate it you don't have to eat right away you can many I know many people like to eat smoothies for breakfast so what you can do is once the seed is out you can easily put it in your blender as well blend it with banana or blend it with something a little bit sour tasting because this is too sweet like strawberries or blueberries and it's a perfect perfect smoothie for you there and um, if you want to eat it over many months and so because you have a lot of these jackfruits growing then you can put it in your freezer and you know it freezes very very well we have jackfruit um, shreds from July last year which we've been eating as curry so it's like a frozen veggie you can treat it as any frozen vegetable that you put in the freezer and eat it over many months so it's a very useful tree to have you don't need a green thumb the only thing that you need is a good nutritious soil so enhance your soil first make it rich it likes to be in rich soil well draining soil um, and put a lot of mulch free mulch from FPL is always available and put a lot of compost any food scrap that you compost is good if you are into fertilizer use then do give organic fertilizer every couple months and it likes to be uh, fed a lot of water but our climate is such that once the rains start it, it's a lot of rain every couple days so it, it, you don't need to water during those days so this is your jackfruit probably it will take me another half an hour to take all the fruits out and then you can sit and eat or I like to eat as I script the fun is completely 
awesome to just sit around in your garden and eat this for your breakfast thank you very much for watching